Yo, what's up everybody? Jumping Hat. Today, I wanted to do something a little bit different in Anthem. I wanted to actually show off my Legendary Ranger versus GM3. Now, I'm going to be playing GM3 Free Play, and honestly, I would probably recommend GM3 Free Play over anything else, just because I don't think GM3 is really worth it. Now, I will say this. I have gotten six Legendaries to drop in Free Play on GM3 since the patch has come out. So that is something I wanted to point out. But in terms of Masterworks and just overall drops, I've done multiple runs of GM2 and 3 in different activities. And honestly, the drop rate is just not that much better. And the difference between GM3 and 2 is quite large. GM2 is actually quite easy now, as long as you are a Masterwork class or a Legendary class. And GM1 is pretty much a joke now. It feels like you're playing hard, so you can just blow through GM1 like it's nothing. And I feel like I get more drops on GM1 than I do 2R3. But that's probably due to the speed of which you can just go through GM1. Now, one of the things I want to talk about here is actually this patch that came out. Because the main thing that they've done is made it so that the higher your power level, the stronger you are. And it's very noticeable because they have fixed the scaling. So a lot of abilities, weapons that have effects will do crazy high damage now if you are stronger with your power level. Same with your combos, your melees. There's a lot of things that have been buffed because they're now properly scaling. But here's the deal. Now what you want to do is try to get as high of power level as possible, meaning that you need to get legendaries. And that is a huge problem because the drop rate is completely garbage right now i don't know what is going on i feel like it is worse than it was before the patch and the thing is a lot of people including myself played on that friday night before the patch i played it all night long for some reason the drop rate went up to be insane i was getting mass works left and right i didn't really get any legendaries that night but i had friends who got like five or six legendaries throughout that night and everybody wanted to keep playing and keep going because the drops were happening and it made it exciting. This is what this game needs. We need more drops because the problem is with the current system, like I said, you want to be the highest power level as possible. You need legendaries. And not only do you need legendaries, you need good legendaries. So you need to be able to get them so that hopefully you can get a god roll with good inscriptions on them. This is a huge problem right now. They really have to address this because you can no longer get away with just saying, I'm happy at this power level. You want to be a higher power level so that you can actually be stronger. That's kind of the whole point. And when you're not getting barely any masterwork drops, you just really cannot even take advantage of that. And just forget about legendary drops. It's just so difficult to get them and you can grind and grind. I have sat there in GM3 free play for an hour and I got one masterwork or no masterworks. That has happened multiple times. And then other times I got lucky and I actually got a legendary or even two. I actually got two legendaries back to back really quickly one day. So it does happen, but it is a real problem. And the thing is, GM3 is still difficult, even at high power level. It's going to take you a lot of time to kill certain enemies. Anything that is elite is a lot stronger. The basic enemies are pretty manageable. You can kill them very quickly. That's why I recommend free play for GM3 if you're going to play it. Because there's a lot of really basic enemies that you can actually kill no problem. The elites and especially the legendaries and certain legendaries are just horrible. Will take you a very, very long time to kill. And in the end, they drop nothing. So that is a big problem for people. They just don't want to sit there and grind it like that. You're much better off just being on GM1 and breezing through everything and hope that you might get a drop. So it's a real problem. I just wanted to quickly rant about that because I know that a lot of people are frustrated, including myself. Now let's go ahead and talk about what I have on this Ranger. And there's a lot of room for improvement. But of course, the biggest problem is to make an improvement at this point, I need legendaries. And I also need to get the legendaries that I'm looking for. And I also need to get those legendaries that I'm looking for with good inscriptions on them. 
So the chance of that happening is just so low. So they definitely need to address this because this whole slow dip thing is just not working. And every looter game, especially looter shooter games, they have all learned this, that you have to give out a lot of drops, especially if everything is random. If there was things that came with certain roles and it was guaranteed like Destiny with exotics, that's different. You can make it very rare to get a legendary if the legendaries were all going to come with the same role regardless and they were going to be God and all that. So let's go and talk about this frag grenade I have. The only thing I like on it is the gear speed and the damage. I have a friend who actually got a legendary frag grenade that came with 250% gear damage with 100% charges. I am extremely jealous of that. That would make this build so much better and so much more powerful. But I mean, that's the way it is. Like I have to keep playing and I hope that maybe I can get another frag grenade and hopefully it will come with a lot of damage on it or just a lot of charges. I don't know, but that is a real problem. Now, moving on for the weapon, the main weapon I'm using is actually this Ralnir's Blaze. This thing is actually amazing. It will set them up for fire combos, so that's really cool. And I definitely would recommend this on a ranger if you're going for combos. And the reason why I like the combos is because they do scale and they do good damage for GM2 and GM3. Now, this one is kind of a god roll. It has 250% weapon damage on it. That's very good. It has a lot of extra ammo. But I wish it could have came with more magazine because I feel like this gun can really benefit from a large magazine. And for my other weapon, I almost forgot about it. I actually got this Truth of Tarsus. Now, the thing is, this isn't a very powerful roll on it, but it does come with 150% armor. And I like that. It has 25% gear damage, 13% force. All that is good. I don't really use it much to do damage just because it's not really that strong for a GM3 or even GM2, but it is actually a useful weapon, where before I was using a legendary scout rifle that gave me shields and armor. I think this is better because at least with this, I can actually bust it out and actually use it, and it can actually do something. For my R1 attack, I am using an Avenger's Boon. I actually recently got this. It has 200% gear damage on it, and it is very, very strong. I had another one that had 200% gear charges. I really liked this one for the longest time, but now I have this one. This can really up my damage for the higher difficulties with combos and stuff because it is a very powerful move in itself. And also buffing my melee damage is nice. Now that the melee is properly scaling, the ranger melee is actually pretty strong. So I like that. For my support gear, I actually kind of got a god roll here. And, of course, if they would come out with the legendary support gear or masterwork support gear, that will really help because that will up your power by a lot. So that is something that I hope they will come out with because I want that so I can become stronger. But this roll has 45% shields and 33% luck. So that's really cool. Moving on to the components, I actually got really frustrated the other day because I did get another legendary component and I thought it was a new one. But it was not. It was one I already had. So that is a bummer. But right now, the maximum power is 788. Now, if you want to become a legendary class, you're going to need all legendaries for your weapons, your R1, your L1, and then four legendary components. Now, I'm using Tip of the Spear because this is a combo build that's really good. This one comes with 28% luck, so that's why I'm using it. Next up, I have Victor's Resolve. This will increase my blast damage. And then I have Airborne Advantage. This will increase my impact damage. So in the end, when you combine these two together, you will have 30% blast, 30% impact. The impact is going to affect my bullet damage. It's going to affect my R1 damage. The blast is going to affect my L1 damage with the frag grenade and also my ultimate damage. And the Ranger ultimate is now very good. It's actually kind of crazy. Every ultimate has been so buffed and that's really, really nice. Moving on, I have Defense's Bulwark. This is going to increase all my weapon damage, so that's really nice. I have this new Universal Legendary component. This is Rejuvenating Ammo. Now, what's really cool about the Universals, I'm glad they brought them out. Of course, you're going to want to get the Legendary ones if possible. But the Masterwork ones are also really good because they can come with inscriptions that can really benefit your damage or your defense. And that's really cool. This one came with 85% shields which is nice. Now, of course, it has already really low shields and armor on it, so it's kind of a risk-reward kind of thing. 
And I do like the effect on it because it will allow me to pick up ammo or health packs and I will always get health from it. There are better ones though and I will actually talk about that in a moment. But my final legendary component is the General's Favor and this is actually the new one I got. The one I showed before, that was my old legendary one of this. And I like this one a lot more. Ultimate speed, shield refresh, that's great. Now one of the things I wanted to point out is one of these new universal components because there is one I think is amazing for GM2 or 3 and that's emergency power. This is crazy. Now that the ultimates are so much better, what this will do is that it will increase the damage of your ultimate by 30%, which is really good. And whenever you are critically damaged, you can get your ultimate back instantly. And it can only occur every two minutes. Now this is amazing on every class. I think it's really good on the Interceptor because the Interceptor's ultimate is really good. And whenever you become critical, you can go into the ultimate and then you're invincible and that ultimate will last for a good amount of time. And the whole time you're in it, it is actually cooling down this effect. So that's really cool. Now against like a boss or something really strong, what you can actually do is, if everyone has this, you can actually take turns using your ultimate, if you already had it going into the fight, then letting yourself become critical. And even if you die, you still can trigger this effect. So someone can res you, and then now you're getting up with an ultimate that you can go ahead and use on the boss again. You can take out some boss level enemies on GM2 or 3 so quickly if you're actually kind of abusing this. So I definitely say that this is a extremely good universal component and I would probably recommend it for everybody just because it is that good. And there's other ones too that are good where you get damage resistance where you lose your shield. That's awesome. There's one wherever you pick up maybe ammo packs you get more damage like 50% more damage for 10 seconds. That's really good. So a lot of these universal components are great. And the best part about them is that they can come with some really great inscriptions potentially but like I said before, you're really looking for legendaries. If you're trying to up your damage and your defense and just be as strong as possible, you want to have as high of light as possible. And unfortunately, the problem with that is that that means you're going to have to get legendary universal components or just components, and you're going to have to actually hope that they come with good inscriptions on them. And that is a big problem. That is a huge problem. Alrighty guys, now let's go in and get into some gameplay. I'm going to go ahead and show a little bit of Grandmaster 3 with this build at such high power in free play because that's what I actually would recommend. If you're going to grind Grandmaster 3, honestly just do it in free play. Don't waste your time suffering through contracts or in the strongholds because the chance of you getting extra drops in those is so low. I've done it, I've suffered through it, and honestly I didn't get nothing where at least in free play, I have gotten some legendaries to drop, but I really, really think they have to up the drop rate for everything just because it is getting ridiculous, and this game is definitely going to die out if people are just dissatisfied by playing it, and that's what's happening to a lot of people right now. Alrighty, so here's going to be the gameplay, and you're going to see what this build can do on GM3. Now, I'm in a dungeon. This is going to be a very familiar dungeon because I'm always in it. I love this dungeon. I always get legendaries from this dungeon. I have gotten several, so I want to say I've probably gotten five total from this one dungeon. I don't know what it is, but this dungeon is great, so I definitely would recommend it. It's called the Necropolis, something like that. But there's a bunch of outlaws in here and it's pretty easy overall and like I said I've gotten a bunch of legendaries from farming this dungeon so anytime I get a chance to come in here I will and I'm actually going to show you guys a bonus clip which is going to be quite fun and in fact it's going to be me and my friend zombie here talking and all that so you can kind of like see like what was going on I'm going to explain it in a moment but I do want to talk about a couple things the consumables I'm using for this I'm actually using the lightning sigil, I'm using the combo sigil, and also the gear sigil. So I get recharge speed, more combo damage, but the main thing is actually the lightning sigil. That's important, and I should have actually brought this up. If you're not using the Vanguard's badge, which is a component, you're going to want to use the lightning sigil because it's going to improve your lightning effect and allow you to apply it to some enemies that you normally cannot apply it to. In fact, you can apply it, but it's going to take you multiple melees to apply it compared to just one. And that's the thing. You want to be able to apply it to pretty much any enemy. 
detonate your combo, set them up with the assault rifle, and then detonate another combo. And because the Rangers combos are actually really strong, they're the strongest in the entire game, they're going to do some work. You're going to see for the most part, we're not going to really have any trouble clearing this out. Now, the main thing about the Ranger is I really do think if you're going to do the combo build, if you can play with a Colossus, it is perfect because what you can do is do a lot of chain combos. So you can start with the lightning and do a combo. Then you can set it on fire, do a combo. The Colossus can then freeze. You can do another combo. If you're playing with a smart Colossus, they will let the Ranger actually detonate the combo just because unless there is a huge group, the Colossus combo, or at least the detonation, is not that strong. The Colossus is definitely better in a group where the Ranger is definitely better for a single target. So if you're just doing combos nonstop, it is much better to let the Ranger just keep doing the combo against a single target. Alrighty, so now it's time for the bonus clip. Now in this bonus clip, this happened late at night. This actually happened the night after recording this little bit of gameplay, but... I wanted to show it just because something kind of crazy happens. Now, this is the third time this has happened to me in GM3 free play, so I don't know. Maybe I'm lucky. It's hard to say, but this has happened now three times. So I wanted to go ahead and show that off. But also, I want to just quickly say that in the video, there's actually a couple randoms that were following us around. Both of the randoms were really underleveled for GM3. So it's going to sound like we're talking a bunch of crap, but in reality, we're just kind of laughing at the fact that they're still on their level. But, you know, we were giving them a free ride just by killing everything for them, and I'm sure they probably got some drops in the process, so I don't really think they would have room to complain much. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get into the bonus clip now, but that's going to do it for me, guys. So I would appreciate it if you can go ahead and like the video for me. Be sure to subscribe for future Anthem videos, and I really do hope that everyone... Has a very nice day and peace out. Fucking retard. Storm needs to stop trying to detonate combos because combos suck when he detonates them. I'm kind of curious. I think my melee might <clears throat> do more than his combos. If I jump up in the air, I get an extra 29 grand. We're fucking this group up. I thought he was gonna go somewhere. Oh, got a legendary. Thank you. Let's go into the cave. Honestly, after this cave, let's back out. <laughs> now that you got your legendary? Oh, fuck yeah. I mean, we got a great hole. I mean, we both got like, what? Eight or nine? Ooh, shit, there was a public. You want to do the public or the cave? Let's do the cave and then we can do the public on the way out. Right. These kids have no choice. They have to follow us, otherwise they're fucking dumbasses. Look at it this way, they're not going down, so they're not getting killed. Well, everything keeps getting frozen and blown the fuck up.
I don't even collect those anymore. I've got too many friggin' parts. I don't know what to do with them all. That's after crafting like crazy. This guy froze this thing and then he meleeed and how much damage he was doing. Barely scratched the guy. Bro. I just got another legendary. Are you serious? Yes. Two. Just that quick. What the fuck, man? Why does that happen, like, to me? Like, I always, whenever I get a legendary in free play, I always get, like, another one. Like, it's the third time that's happened. Okay. Third of you, Mr. Frosty. Nothing. Alright, I've reached my room. 